loves aloha so earlier on instagram i posted that i saw that u-haul with the bat on it and it was a map of missouri and it spoke about how bats are really good at hearing and i've been mentioning that we're going to be having to use our sense of sound rather than sight during these times whatever's coming towards you like maybe you're having to play something by ear or hear someone out i was also feeling the vibes of maybe you and your person maybe even your career it's being done over the phone a lot and you guys should go look up what the meaning for that spirit animal is because it's a very beautiful, interesting read. And I'm just seeing that you're really evolving, moving past blockages in life. And I'm seeing that you're thinking like, where do I go next? And I didn't mention on Instagram that um, when I went back in the house after I seen that U-Haul, the TV was on and it was on this random TV station and it was playing this uh, animated series called, called Bat Pat. B-A-T-P-A-T. -A -T. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? One, four, three on the clock. Oh my gosh. But whatever that means, it's just like spirit is alive and well, thriving. You know, things may be hard right now, but just know that they're there guiding you. Maybe these are like the final steps that's needing to be taken. You know, you're healing right now. We got the T card. A lot of <clears throat> you're being called to go through these purification rituals and you know really protect yourself from harmful and negative influences at this time I'm seeing just making sure you're surrounded by good energy that's also a part of what the bats represent too they represent community surrounding yourself with like-minded people they know that there is strength in numbers okay yes holy trinity a lot of past present future energy coming up that wasn't a very good shuffle but let's just go air guardian shift your perspective So I feel like a lot of you are healing. A lot of you are having a change of heart or even being called to. Being called to release things, allow the winds of change to come in. Making sure you're meditating, breath work. Track down your fears and desires. A lot of dark energy. Wow. The top of card. Since it fell here, it's like someone's really afraid to go after this partnership, possibly. Or they're just having fears about some someone that they truly desire. And I feel that through this healing process, you're... Shifting out of your fear being your compass and you're allowing your heart to guide you. Walking by faith, not sight. Yes, look at that, the fool. The fool walks by faith. He doesn't see that cliff that he's about to um, leap off of. But I was actually seeing this card earlier. It's like someone was afraid to leap. Someone was about afraid to 
take a chance, take a risk, move forward. And it's like I was seeing like this wasn't even a far drop. I was seeing it like a two foot drop. Like you could literally just jump and, you know, you're not going to fall. You're not going to stumble. So just go. Someone's receiving a lot of clarity. Someone's receiving a lot of signs that it's time to step into this new beginning. Someone's seeing that this is what they manifested. This partnership, this opportunity to heal, this opportunity to stand up for yourself and shift your perspective, standing up to your for your own, to your fears, standing up. yourself wow this is that physical and emotional connection look at that the lovers and the top of heart someone that you're in complete alignment with i'm getting this vibes as the ancestors are guiding these two together the feminine's being called to shift her perception. The masculine's being called to track down his fears and desires. This could be... Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I know what I'm seeing. This could be two people in separate relationships going through a really dark, transformative period. They could be really regretting all the time and energy they spent on this person. I'm seeing like there was a lot of conflict. Like they were keep having to defend themselves. Wheel of Fortune. What goes around comes around. Tables turning. The inevitable. It's like somebody had to go through this. Somebody had to finally realized that they were putting their time and energy into a really shitty situation. Someone that didn't even know what they wanted. Someone that lacked ambition, possibly. Lacked the vision, lacked goals. Yeah, but there's there's new growth coming in with this wheel of fortune with that realization. Wow, look at that, yes. And that two of swords still at the bottom. What was beneath this? So it's like someone's finally receiving the signs that it's time to take action. They're feeling some type of way. They're no longer indecisive. They're no longer at a crossroads. They're ready to take action because it's like the divines push them. Yeah, I'm seeing this as the divines. Like they were the fool standing on that cliff and the divines just had to push them in. And they felt like they were going to fall to their death. They're deathly afraid of taking action. Why? The moon. 
in reverse. Afraid of what happens when they expose how they feel. Maybe they're afraid of being rejected. The Ace of Swords and the Fool card came right back out. But they're ready because the Moon card came up in reverse. They're no longer stuck in a false reality, no longer blinded by illusions. They're receiving a lot of fucking clarity. Once again, the Divines coming in. I'm seeing happy accidents. Someone's about to walk right into their destiny. Someone's about to leap right into their destiny. I'm seeing this whole time it was the feminine pulling the strings. Pulling the strings, I just heard. Wow, and they say that the full card is like walking on a thin rope. Yeah, it's like she was like guiding. Guiding. Wow. I feel just even with that with the feminine pulling the strings in in union with the divines in union with the spirit guides it allowed a tower moment to happen in whatever false sense of, of security was going on before within the households on separate ends, whatever was blocking them from coming towards you. Mm. End of singlehood, I just heard. So somebody could also be afraid of being tied down again, feeling like they're being tied down again. Maybe they're worried about what external influences will be saying about that. Like jumping out of one situation and leaping right into another. I'm holding this down. What the fuck's going on? It's like all mashed up and I had it all good. Yeah, so it's causing somebody to hold back hold back on their time and energy because it could feel like how they're going about things could keep them on some sort of karmic cycle wow okay three of pentacles just went off the table how they're going about things how they're trying to collaborate how they're trying to yeah how they're trying to collaborate it's like somebody's contemplating now 
maybe trying to find a different route do it differently do it fearlessly to find do it fearlessly to finally close out a chapter with people that live in the past and move towards energies that live in gratitude, live in union with their community rather than someone that wants to isolate themselves. But I'm also seeing this vibes of maybe there was a lot of Let's carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. I'm feeling eavesdropping vibes. And somebody kept... Mm -mm -mm. I feel like somebody... Mm. Somebody was holding on to... Is holding on. They weren't sharing how they feel. Thirteen. They weren't letting go of the past, ending things that no longer resonate. And they weren't trusting in the fact that the divines were trying to give them what they wished for. They were overanalyzing it and they were afraid. They were afraid of success. They were afraid of leaving people behind. I'm seeing this card right here, like heavy, like someone, someone around them was possibly really wounded and they were nurturing them. It's like a lot of, like somebody was within the relationship, someone was like someone's parent, I'm seeing. It's like somebody had to really baby this person or maybe they felt like it, maybe they felt bad. And I'm seeing like it, it grew so strong, this connection, like it's like literally, it was like their parent. So it was like, they didn't wanna abandon their child. And I feel like that's possibly why their person in the past did that to them because they knew if they would act like a fucking baby, that person wouldn't abandon them because maybe they already have children of their own and they don't abandon they know they know what type of parent they are that was weird yeah okay let's see let's close it off with I'm badass at making money to tap into this money energy I'm, I'm feeling a lot of codependent vibes so let's get this energy flowing mm. okay let's read it here since I said chapter 4 page 75 Somewhere along my journey through overcoming my financial flimsiness, I attended a weekend seminar called Manifesting Money Like a Millionaire. I don't remember the specifics, but it was probably in Las Vegas, probably in some fairly cheesy hotel conference room, definitely outside of my comfort zone. There was about th a three year period in my early 40s when I went to these types of things all the time. This particular event 
happened sometimes after some time after I started my online business helping writers get their book proposals done. Before my business broke six figures for the first time and after months after months of moving out of a garage I usually had to drag myself to these seminars because it felt so, I felt so out of place at them. Not because I didn't desperately need the information, because Lord knows I did. But because if any of my friends caught me there with a name tag pinned to my chest, discussing the power of gratitude in my little breakout group, participating in the call and answer, Who's about Maggie? I'm about Maggie. I can't hear you. I'm about Maggie. I'd never live it down. In other words, I felt above it all. Too cool for school. I'm going to end it right there. But I do feel like someone's being called to step out of their comfort zone, step into a community with like-minded people. You know, what are your goals? What are you wanting in life? Who, what, when, where, why? Put yourself in a space where you'll get just that, you know, even if you're having to put a little money out to go to these events, to build your business, build up your strength, even go to, um, I'm seeing, um, what is that called? Like community groups where you can discuss what you're going through. All right. Let's end that. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Yes, it's time to transform. And I feel like repetition, commitment, and um, being around people that are on that same vibe, you know, so you don't feel like you're the only one. Because there are a lot of people that are going through what you're going through that have the same goals as you. You're not the only one. So put yourself into that type of space and really release the past. I'm seeing that person who you were a month ago no longer resonates with where you're going today. Yeah, it no longer resonates with the sacred dance that you're learning. All right, this is a collective reading may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal, the information is found in the description below.